So our report is about the risks that climate change poses to the United Kingdom. Hundreds of scientists, economists and business people have reviewed all the facts and the report summarises what they've told us. And what they've told us is this. Climate change is happening here and now. It's affecting all of us in this country and it poses risks now and in the future. And we summarise in our report the top risks. The top three that I want to mention are the risks from flooding, the risks to overheating in homes and in hospitals, and the risks to our food. What about flooding? Well, we've all experienced, everybody knows about the Cumbria floods last winter where many towns and villages were flooded out. We remember a few years ago that the main railway line to the west of England was cut off at Dawlish Warren. And we know that in London in June this year, uh, flash flooding caused cars to float down the street and basement flats were flooded out. So these are the sorts of risks that climate change is posing now and those risks will become more severe in the future. Homes and hospitals, well, even on an average summer's day when the temperature's in the low 20s, in a hospital ward where you can't open the windows, uh, overheating can be a problem. And particularly elderly patients in bed can be very uncomfortable. They won't be able to sleep at night. And these risks are going to get worse in the future. And it's not just in hospitals. In our homes, many of our homes are just not designed to cope with warm weather. So people's quality of life is decreasing and will decrease more in the future as the climate warms. What about our food? Well, a lot of our food depends on imported products. So for example, our pig farmers rely on soya to feed their pigs on that's imported from North and South America. And just a few years ago, when there was a drought in North America and a shortage of soya, some of our pig farmers went out of business and there was a threat to our supply of pork and bacon. And again, these sorts of risks are going to get bigger in the future. What about here at home? Well, also, we depend on not just uh, imported food, but food we grow at home. And the most fertile areas of uh, Britain, the breadbasket, is East Anglia. And East Anglia depends on the fertile peat topsoils for producing cereals. Those topsoils are disappearing at an alarming rate. Three quarters of the topsoil has disappeared in the last 150 years. And that disappearance is being accelerated by climate change. If we carry on as we are at the moment, it will all have gone within a generation. And we simply won't be able to grow the food that we're growing now in the future. So what needs to happen? Our report sets out the risks, and now we hand it over to the government and others to take action here and now to manage these urgent risks from climate change.